Today we're taking a look at the archives of my email newsletter and I'm using Aweber for that and the reason I'm using Aweber is because I like a lot of their features. One of the features I do like is this archive that they generate for you of your newsletter. Recently they introduced a new feature which is the broadcast editor but it's a beta version let me just let you take a look at this broadcast email editor that they have now it's really cool first you would just start off with entering the subject line here and you have a choice of all these different templates I, there's so many of them I can't even begin to count but as you can see there's so many different colors and if you just wanted to pick by color but for example my blog has a reddish color to it so if I wanted to see all the templates that had a red theme to it and then of course a lot of people are using blue and these are the blue ones or you can select by category for example here's corporate But you really don't have to use the template. You can use the block editor. Now, when you use the block editor, this just gives you a description of what you have to do, which is basically take any of these widgets and drag them down into the body. So you can get rid of this one because this is actually how you get rid of them. You use the X. And if I wanted to duplicate it, I would use the plus. But this is just an example, so we'll get rid of that. So if I want to include a headline, I would just drag down the headline widget, type in my headline. You need to add an, uh, an image, just drag down the image widget, get the URL of the image. Maybe you have it hosted on your website that image should link to something then include the link there include the alt text for the image let's say you want to add a coupon just drag that down and then you can edit the text if you want it to be save 30% Now let's add the logo. Well, Aweber already has my logo stored, so I don't have to worry about um, adding or uploading the file again. Now let's say I wanted to have a teaser of the blog post. In fact, this is an image of Joost de Volk when I interviewed him on my blog. So let's put a snippet of that blog post there. So I paste it in the URL, in the Read More link URL. And now I just go and grab a snippet of text from the article. And replace this filler text. And I can get rid of the extra spacing here. I can also change the formatting of that. So let's make it 16 point. My favorite font is Georgia. And for the article image, we can just delete that because we already have the image there. So when we're done, we can take a preview of it. And there, that looks good. It automatically adds my salutation and of course it adds the unsubscribe link and that's something I wanted to mention because I have received a few newsletters that I was not able to unsubscribe from in the United States you're not allowed to do that you there's something called the can spam act 
and you always must provide a way for people to unsubscribe from your newsletter. And if you're using Aweber, you never have to worry about that because they're already going to automatically add that unsubscribe feature to anything that you ever send out. Another great feature that they have, if I had at some point said, huh, I want a previous version of this, they save all my draft versions and all I have to do is click load and it'll revert back to a previous version. That's pretty cool. So now we're all ready to go. We click next. And there's a couple of options here that you can turn on or off. And this is that archive page that I mentioned to you earlier. If we wanted to, we could say, no, nope, we don't want anyone to be able to share this. We can just turn that off. And that would turn off everything. They wouldn't be able to share it on Facebook or Twitter. They won't have sharing buttons right inside of the email, nor will they have an entry on the archive page. And that's it. All you have to do is decide what lists you want to send this out to. If you're segmenting your list, then you would just pick the segment that you want and then save your message. Then when you're ready, you would just click the Q button. And of course, I don't want to really send this one out, but then I would just hit yes and it would go. Well, I hope you saw how easy it is to use the broadcast tool that they have over on Aweber. Go over and check it out if you're already signed up for Aweber. If you're not, you can use the link below the video and you can sign up. And speaking of that, while you're over here on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Or give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Hey, I'll see you again soon over at basicblogtips.com. It's Eileen. Bye-bye for now.